Welcome back. This is video number five in our server basics video series. And uh, in this video, what I want to do is show you kind of what, what you can do with group policy, at least give you a real quick basic example. What we have here is our server. Okay, it's a Windows 2008 server, R2. And uh, also we have a Windows 7 client, which is joined to the domain now. And we set, set up all this whole thing here, configured everything from scratch in our previous videos. Um, so what we want to do, let's say we want to change the background, the wallpaper here, on a certain client or end user or even a certain group of, of end users. So what we want to do is, let's say we want to, I have an image here, we have a PCAddicts.com logo here. What we're going to do is use that one to make our background here. <clears throat> so right now anytime this user logs in, this user is Joe Smith, it's an ER doctor. Oh, uh, wait, no, this is, yeah, this is an ER doctor. Every time they log in, they see the basic screen, uh, wallpaper. Let's say we want to change that. So what we want to do is we want to click on Start. We want to launch Group Policy Management. Now, if you don't have this installed or if this isn't showing, um, uh, we're going to be going over that later on, but uh, oops, my cell phone alarm. But for now, um, it's here. If you don't have it, just shoot me a PM. I'll show you how to do it. It's basically you just go to f add features, programs and features, and you'd find it in there. But I believe it's on 2008 servers. It's on there by default. I think I'm just thinking of the add-on. I'll go over that stuff later. So anyways, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. First, let's open up Active Directory using computers. Let's see what we want to do here. Let's say we want to, let's say we want everybody in ER to get this certain wallpaper. So what we want to do is we want to create a um, group policy object. So we're going to go administrative tools, group policy management. Let's go ahead and minimize that for now. Um, we want to go into domains. Go ahead and expand our domain here. Here's our. This is a default domain policy. Typically, it's best practice um, not to mess with this one because this has some basic, you know, security settings and whatnot. Um, so we're not even going to touch that one at the moment. What you want to do is, if you want to see what group policy objects are set up and installed here by default or overall, like at our work we have hundreds of them, um, and when we click this group policy objects link here, it'll display them all here. So this gives you kind of a rundown. So we know that there's two group policy objects already, and one is for the domain controllers, as you can see here, and one is for the default domain policy. All right. But we want to create a new one and put it in this ER. And you can see here, none of the OUs that we created manually here have any group policy objects tied to it. So we're just going to do a real quick basic one. Again, we're going to be doing more advanced stuff later. Um, this is just to get your feet wet and get, get a feel for what's going on. Um, so let's go ahead and right click on the OU where we want to place it. We want to create a GPO in this domain and link it here. So let's just call it um, desktop wallpaper. That way, when you see it, it's clear as far as what it does. And you can also see it down here. You, we can delete it from here if we wanted to. But it's it's deleted from this OU, but the policy is still within the group policy object. So we can then just drag it on up here to ER. And it says, yep, you want to do that? Yep. All right, so um, what this does, it just gives you a rule broad kind of uh, example, well, not example, but explanation of what's going on with this group policy object. Uh, I'm not going to get into details about the scope or the details. The settings here is pretty important. You'll see right now there's no settings defined. Um, and then delegation, we can, we're going to be going over that stuff in, the, in later videos. But um, for now, let's say we want to go ahead and set this thing up. What we have is a picture here. Let me minimize this. Let's go ahead and dump this picture in a folder just to get it somewhere. Let's create um, a new one called deploy. Uh, deploy. Something easy, something we'll remember. Now I uh, we're, we're going to need to share this direct or this uh, directory out. So what we want to do, we can either go sharing and do that, but let's try it right here. Let's, let's say, okay, we want to do um, authenticated users. Let's just add. So that means anybody who's authenticated um, will be able to use this. We're going to read and execute list folder contents. That's it. So that should be good. I believe, let's actually see. Uh, we 
may have to actually do the share. All right, let's just do the share. I'm gonna have to go um, and figure out exactly. Uh, we're just gonna share it now like that. Okay, done. Okay, there it's there now. It just it needs to be shared so that way you can pull the pictures down from um, from the server. So we shared it. It shared our pictures in there, and that's what we're gonna end up using. So let's go ahead and minimize that. Let's bring up group policy again. <clears throat> okay, we want to right click and go to edit on this group policy object. All right, now there's two different sections. We're gonna go into this more deep into more details regarding this um, later but right now we want a user we want it to be dependent on a user so whoever the user is um, whenever they log in this wallpaper is going to change so we go to policies I believe and let's see administrative templates desktop and then desktop okay here we go let's just get rid of that one uh, desktop wallpaper this is the one we're going to configure we're going to double click it you can read exactly what happens here um, but we're just going to go ahead and enable it and wallpaper name so we want to what we want to do is we want to put the actual UNC path because this computer over here if you put the C colon backslash windows blah 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 that would work if the picture was in the local computers directories but it's not it's on a share so we're just gonna go backslash backslash server dash one deploy and the picture name which was BCA logo dot JPEG it has to be a JPEG or a bitmap I believe so Wallpaper. We're gonna let's just do let's do fit. Let's just see what happens, huh? All right, we're gonna hit OK. It's already so it's enabled, um, and it is. Let's go ahead and close that. It's enabled. Let's go ahead and refresh this. All right. So now that it shows you here basically what settings you have set. I think it's gonna work. So what we want to do now is come over here, log off, and log back in. Let's see what happens, huh? See if our wallpaper changes. Okay, maybe we got a GP updated. Let's see. GP update. Oops. It's, it's early. Slash force. And then let's log off and log in. It may have not pulled that uh, policy down yet. I'll kind of show you how to check that. The GP update just f and the force just forces the um, group policies to be brought back down and applied so let's see if that'll do it may take a couple log offs and logins when dealing with uh, group policy stuff so or we could be patient and just wait oh there we go we got a black screen black screen's good means it's changing but I think let's try one more log off and log back in I know that there's been some problems in the past with Windows 7 and doing group policy changes on the wallpaper so uh, bear with me here let's see if it then pulled down the uh... <laughs> no well we know it's we know it's being applied let's check something here let's go to CMD let's get a little troubleshooting run as, run as administrator Oops. And I want to run RSOP. This is going to show us what group policies were applied and everything. So I want to see. Hmm. Let me try one more GP update. Oops. Oops. Uh. <laughs> One more log off and lock in. If it doesn't work, then uh, we'll figure it out. We know it's changing. We know it's doing something. Maybe I don't have the path right. Server one deploy PCA logo JPEG. I think that's right. Let's log off, log back in. And we are doing it where the ER doctor is, right? Yep. Let's try. Hmm, that's not cool. Well, here, this is what we're gonna do. Let's let's turn it off real quick. Wait, let's just let's just um, let's just remove it real quick. Log off. 
log back in. Let's see if it changes back. Okay, so that went back and it's like pit or something. So, all right, now let's let's bring it back in there. GP update force, and then we'll restart it and we'll see. Sorry about this. Hopefully, it's gonna work. See, the wallpaper is probably a bad example of trying to get or um, showing you guys the GPO stuff. All right, it's still not pulling it down. Hmm. Let's make sure that we can access that server one and deploy. Ooh, Windows cannot access. You do not have permission. Aha, that's why. See that? There we go. So, why don't we have permission? Let's look at this one more time. Sharing. Oh, I know why. <laughs> because when I went, I, I, I added authenticated users here, but then I went to sharing. This overwrote this this setup or this um, configuration. So now let's go in here and add um, oops, authentic. If I can type. Read. Okay, this should work. Let's see if we can access it now. Um, there we go. All right, so now let's log off, log in. See that? Good troubleshooting there, guys. All right. There we go. So there you go. As long as you have uh, it shared and, and authenticated users can see it, this group policy is being applied to everybody in ER which is these people here okay so good little example and again if we want to we can delete it it will be it won't it just won't be linked to this OU anymore so after a real quick we probably don't even need a GP update it let's just um, log off and log in because during the login process it should go out and update its stuff but it may not in that case that's when the GP update force would would work. Yeah, see it didn't. So let's go ahead and GP update force. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's log off log in. Now remember we're we're making changes to the user configuration of group policy. So we don't have to restart we can just log off and log in and there you go it's back to the normal wallpaper <laughs>